Japan today experienced yet another scorching day nationwide. In the morning, the mercury already topped 35 degrees Celsius in many areas of the country's east and north. Japan's meteorological agency said high atmospheric pressure covering areas around Japan is the reason temperatures have kept rising since the morning. The United Kingdom's Home Secretary is planned to accommodate thousands of migrants in Marquis at disused military site have been criticized as staggering and cruel by a leading refugee charity. The tent will start to be erected over the coming weeks as part of emergency plans to deal with an expected surge of channel crossings over the next few months. There is more in this report. It's not the first time the UK government is using giant tent to bolster its facilities to deal with asylum seekers. The plan is part of Swiller Breverman's mission to end the reliance on housing asylum seekers in hotels, which is costing the taxpayer around six pounds a day. A source familiar with the processing centre said the site has been beefed up with new and improved marquees after huge criticism about conditions and overcrowding last year. But with the recent arrival of the first asylum seekers at a former air base in Essex, the Home Office is also planning to erect tent to provide accommodation at repurposed large sites like this, prompting anger from community with my who were grant. They treat them as a, as a second class citizen or obviously worse than human. Obviously, what, they were, what, what will they achieve? If they put them in hotel or decent accommodation, they are human beings. Let, let's, let's treat them as a human being rather than treat them as animals. More than 50,000 asylum seekers are already being housed in hotels around the country. And the government wants to avoid expensive last-minute bookings in the event of a surge in late summer channel crossings. Very nice uh, for us. It's better than uh, we compare things from here and our country. That's why it's better than in our country. But if the government thought the prospect of staying in a tent might be a deterrent, reports found no evidence of that. Some asylum seekers were seen heading back to hotel accommodation in the Midlands. The government's strategy to reduce hotel accommodation also includes using a barge in Dorset. There is long-standing asylum accommodation in this country which should be completely sufficient for everything that we need that has been in place for very, very many years. If they properly cleared the backlog, they wouldn't need to use any of these things. Labour says the accommodation crisis must be resolved by dealing with people's claims. The Home Office also says all accommodation offered to asylum seekers meet its legal requirements and migrants will have no choice where they are sent. Finally, on the world now. This year's Jalsa Salana at an event, an event organized by the Ahmadiyya Muslims, has ended in the United Kingdom with a renewed pledge to the Ahmadiyya community. The third and final day of the annual convention witnessed harmonious gathering of Ahmadiyya Muslims and it served as a platform to share love and compassion. TVC News Ibrahim Shita reports on the occasion. Amid the rolling hills and serene countryside of Hampshire, Jausa Salano, as it's affectionately known, serves as a unifying platform to strengthen the bonds between humanity and the divine. It exemplifies the spirit of brotherhood, bringing together thousands of believers from diverse backgrounds sharing the essence of love and compassion. Guided by their esteemed spiritual leader, this Sunday marked a momentous occasion as tens of thousands of devoted members renewed their sacred pledge to the Ahmadiyya community during the initiation ceremony. I bear witness that there is none but their worship except Allah. These congregants claim that the convention has illuminated a path towards a brighter future where they joined hands in unity, bound by the common threads of faith and humanity. The whole point of a man coming on this earth 
was to gather human beings under one spiritual flag of harmony and love and justice. And, and we see it here a, on a micro level, and we're just hoping and praying it goes on a macro level to the whole world. It's also about the uh, moral development of people, as well as the physical development in terms of a demonstration of love. We who are here are just, it's like heaven on earth. It's meeting friends, meeting people from around the world, from Nigeria, from Ghana, from Indonesia, from all around the world, and connecting with them and creating that spirit of brotherhood. The world needs to recognize their creator. Everyone needs to turn towards God. And uh, that is a solution to alleviate all the issues that we are seeing nowadays. Once you understand the true teachings of Islam, it emphasizes humanity, it emphasizes peaceful coexistence. They are also convinced that these will remain a legacy that resonates in the hearts of all children in attendance. It's been awesome, Alhamdulillah. I've gotten to see our leader, Hazur. I've gone to see many big people, a, very, a lot of emirs. It's been, Alhamdulillah, very Good. Delta Solana is one of the highlights of my year and this year it's been even better. Now they've said that th this year's attendance is going to be 50,000 and normally it's around 35,000. Love Jalsa because um, all Ahmadis come together and like most of the people um, of England came because they love Hazur, they love Allah. Ahmadis um, from all around the world come together as a community and because we can meet friends and family. This obviously marks the end of Jazz Salano 2023 with the weather going from bright sun to light showers. This community believes it's a sign of the acceptance of their prayers and intentions. In the coming days, guests, locals, and everyone around here will be going back to their various countries embarking on this great journey. Ibrahim Shita, TVC News, Hampshire, United Kingdom.